All right, so here we go, guys. House of 3000 Helper versus Snakey with Matt East. Yeah, Diddy Rosa. Town and City. Could have been ZSS either one, but yeah. Okay, so gravitational pull on the peanut. And um, Helper has a very banana-oriented Diddy Kong, and I'm interested to see how gravitational pull will uh, affect that game plan. Um, I want to see how it gets rid of Luma. Okay. That's really important for the matchup. Just to, like, get rid did of he it. just kill Luma with the monkey flip? Yes, he did. All right, so side B10 seems to be pretty good in this matchup. I mean, you could use the kick to hit Luma, or you could use the uh, command grab to punish a shielding Rosa. Yeah. And That's what makes your things like down smash or... Okay. okay. This is scary. Don't, don't help her. <laughs> All right. That was, that was too close. <laughs> Helper knows what he's doing, though. That was almost a scary situation, but the fact that he still had a jump, not much Snakey could have did there besides punish that side B. Yeah. Forward right. is also another good option. Up B had a shield if you're too close to Diddy. That's, that's one thing Helper loves to do. Well, I mean, he did down smash, and then it seemed like he just buffered up B to punish the get up. Oh, okay. But he might have did the shield real quick. But the, all in all, Helper doing amazing here in game one, but now a situation that's very scary for Diddy Kong. <laughs> That was a good side B into immediate up B, and then speaking of up B, now killing with it. Very creative. Yep. Helpers did it. Showing that he has the tech. So, I mean, at this point, I mean, uh, this, is, this is the type of situation Helper, like, really thrives in. As long as he doesn't get... That happened. <laughs> That's oh, the matchup. Man. That's definitely the matchup. Rosa wins this matchup off stage. And, like, and he can't like up B instantly too, because he just like hit him out of it. Even there, it seemed like right, he here. was gonna charge the up B, and then just the lingering down air, like the halo. Shout out to Beyonce. <laughs> it's like almost close to putting a kick in the sign on you. So now a complete turnaround. Raptor, you heard that Dill bodied me. <laughs> Dill bodied me. <laughs> He's back. Son. Back to the match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey flipped the game to Luma again. All right, Green Luma's out of the picture. About 10 seconds, you'll hear the crowd scream, three, two, one, Luma. <laughs> and this is a uh, neck and neck right now. Missed the banana combo. He's also just straight up throwing it at her just to like keep the pressure going. It's interesting to see that Helper went for the follow-up out of up throw there. I know most characters aren't able to follow up because of Luma, but Diddy yeah. Kong's throws are so fast, like uh, reacting out of the throw. Uh, smacking Luma, then running away. Literally tied up here on game one. This is a best of three also, guys. Nice pivot grab to punish that roll in. Gets the frame trap up air to Nair. Punishes the roll again. Now three options in a row. Snakey kind of misses that one there. Snakey bringing it back. Yeah, Snakey has full turnaround here on this game one. Wow, what an up tilt. Okay, good job by Helper killing Luma. The that road forward close. smash, yeah. That was really Rosalina's close. a very light character. Okay, that was crazy, and then Crap that's, that's going to be it. Yeah. Did you see what happened there? Way. Yeah. Helper went to go Z-drop the banana, and, and the she, gravitational yeah. pull turned the banana into roses, and it stunned Helper. <laughs> but because of that lag of gravitational pull, I guess Helper was able to get the stage spike yeah. right after. That was pretty risky of Snakey to do. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, Rosa does win this matchup off stage, but Rosa does, despite who he's fighting against, who she's fighting against, Rosa could always get exposed off stage as well. Yes. And uh, you know, the telepathic recovery. The buzz. Like, one one thing I love about the buzz, Rosa, is like he'll tech 9.5, like 95 percent of the time, and uh, Snakey not getting that tech at the end of that game one. Strong start for Helper here, 0-53. to 53. Nice monkey flip to punish that miss space in there. And Going in. Snakey's just getting mopped here. He's got to, like, slow it down a bit. All right. Don't fall on the Helper's pace. Okay. And I feel like it's so important when fighting Diddy Kong that you punish the side Bs that don't hit you, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's so, so important right there even. You know, it's not safe. It's, 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 it's important to punish Diddy Kong to make them second-guess themselves every time they side B. I'm the one to talk. I'm pretty negative in the Diddy Kong <laughs> matchup, but uh, that's one thing I learned. Down tilt with a up smash. Definitely a nice hit confirmed. Down tilt, up smash. 
something that Diddy Kong players adapted to after all the nerfs was a... Uh, that kill confirmed that helps him out. Yes. Do you know if Helper plays with Tilt Stick? No, he does not. No? Yeah, I was playing JTLs in tournament the other day, and, you know, he's another J uh, Diddy Kong that... That's weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing, like, Diddy's trying to adapt to Tilt Stick now. Well, I mean, the best Diddy right now, Zero, in my opinion, he's, like, perfected it, and it, and it shows with his ability to, like, turn around out of shield and down tilt, or, uh, you know, down tilt while, while like, doing that, that fast walk. And I feel like that's... Because of tilt stick, okay, not worth it. That was. I think Snakey meant to buffer double jump up air to hit with Luma, and the buffering system very, very weird in this game. You know, yeah. if you try to buffer an aerial and jump, sometimes the jump just gets canceled out, and uh, we'll call that an SD. But very strong play from Helper.